Well, hello there. It's Greggy Soriano, and welcome to another episode of Greggy's Digest. If you're into satisfying cake videos just like this, please click on the subscribe button and ring-a-ding-ding that little bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to decorate a lemon cake embellished with an arrangement of piped lemons. You're going to learn all these tips and tricks right here today on Greggy's Digest. First, we're starting off with an 8-inch round cake, 5 inches in height, crumb-coated and final-coated in a lemon buttercream. Now we have a little mise en place going on up in here, up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me pop on cake, up in here, up in here. Damn, it is lit as frosting right now. Boom. Any hoodle, I have a little OCD happening right now with my paper towel that I'm setting to the side so that I can clean myself off with it. And then here I have some binder clips of mini parchment squares and large parchment squares. And right here I have a number four round tip and I'm sticking on my little parchment square on there as usual when I make buttercream flowers. And right here I am piping a lemon. So basically you just want to start with a little bit of pressure and then a lot of pressure in the middle and then less pressure on the ends. You want to avoid making it look too smooth and perfect because the overall effect that I'd like to achieve is more of a painted look. I want to make it look very textured and as if I actually did it with buttercream versus molding it with some fondant or gum paste. And as you can see, I grabbed a number one tip in brown and I dotted the ends of the lemons like a real lemon would have. Like they have like little brown nubs. I'm not sure what you call them, but it's basically the part where the branches stick to. And right here I have a green color, like a leaf green. Like I wanted it a bit more on the darker side and it's a number 104 tip and I'm going to create leaves. You've seen me do this before with this technique so I'm just going to shut my little bokeh and allow you to watch me make some leaves. Just be mindful to make a lot of variations and an amalgam of different sizes. So you want some daddy bear size leaves, some mama bear size leaves, and some baby bear size leaves. Into the refrigerator they shall go. They shall go the distance, they will find their way. If they can be strong, I know every leaf would be worth each leaf. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Okay, right now I am using some gray and with my lovely little palette knives, I'm creating some brush stroke effects like I've done with my other cakes. And right here I have a number one tip in the brown that I used for the lemons and I'm creating some beautiful branches in some lovely movement and flow. I'm making sure there's tons of detail to it so um, I'm creating itty bitty branches along one long branch and just letting my heart pipe itself out. The lemons to make lemonade have arrived, just like Beyonce's album did. Now we're about to put these lemons in formation. See what I did there? Knee slap. Okay, lemons, now let's get information. Okay, leaves, now let's get information. <laughs> Speaking of the word formation, anytime I do a buttercream... Buttercream? Buttercream? What's buttercream? Anytime I do a buttercream floral arrangement in a C formation, I like to make sure it's abundant, full, and very lush in the middle with bigger pieces and gradually smaller as it goes out towards the end pieces.
Now I'm grabbing my number one tip in brown again, and I'm just filling in those spaces and letting those branches peek through and allowing it to be more lush and organic and ethereal. And right here I'm piping in my infamous pearls right inside the spaces to make it more full. And finally, I'm grabbing some edible gold leaf and I am using some tweezers to break apart some pieces and I'm adding them inside of the lemon arrangement. The way that I like to install this edible gold leaf in the floral arrangement is that I kind of treat them like real leaves or feathers floating in the wind. I like how delicate it looks and when the wind catches it, it kind of flutters and in the wind, how high does the sycamore grow if you cut it down? Okay, I'll stop. But basically I'm finishing it off and this right here is the ganache that I used from Amaretti, which is so delicioso. It's so good. I also filled in the other layers with some lemon icing from Amaretti as well. And it's from their gourmet icing line of products. And it is so delicious, guys. They have an amazing selection of gourmet ingredients, extracts, flavors, mixes, and syrups galore. It's definitely what the pro pastry chefs use. So definitely check it out at Amaretti.com. And I have an awesome coupon code for you guys, which is Greggy20, which you could use on your first purchase. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye! Click right on my face to subscribe, click on the video to view my last episode on the right, and get your subscription to Caker's Crate at greggysoriano.com.